This SKF training film is about single row angular contact ball bearings. An angular contact ball bearing consists of a retaining cage and a row of balls with an inner and outer ring. The raceways are ground with a 40 degree contact angle, which means they can carry large axial loads. Other bearings in this family are the double row angular contact bearing, which is always arranged in a back-to-back -back configuration, and the four-point bearing, which can only be used for axial loads. Single row angular contact ball bearings can accommodate an axial load acting in one direction, and therefore they must always be used in pairs in face-to-face -face or back-to-back -back configuration. The resulting setup will accommodate radial and axial loads in either direction. In cases where the axial load in one direction is high, they can also be used in a tandem arrangement. Tandem arrangements still require an opposing matching bearing to locate and support the shaft. When mounted in these configurations, the clearance in the bearing is predetermined during manufacture and is indicated by the suffixes given in the bearing designation. Various degrees of clearance or preload are available to suit different application requirements. The wrong configuration could cause severe damage to the equipment. Angular contact ball bearings are commonly used in applications like gearboxes, pumps and machine tool applications where high accuracy, speed and axial loads are present. This film shows the mounting for a back-to-back -back arrangement. The most common way of mounting small angular contact ball bearings is in a cold condition using the SKF fitting toolkit. Always keep the bearing in its protective package until the actual mounting starts and use some light oil on the shaft. The fitting toolkit is designed to drive the inner and outer ring at the same time onto the shaft. This avoids potential fitting damage to the bearing by ensuring that the shock loads are not passing through the loose ring. When both bearings have been mounted in the correct configuration, they are secured on the shaft by the lock nut. Another common method to mount angular contact ball bearings is with heat. SKF supplies a wide range of bearing induction heaters for this purpose. In this instance, a small portable induction heater is used. Do not heat the bearing above 110 degrees centigrade and always use protective gloves. After the bearings are mounted, secure them on the shaft with a lock nut. Take care that the bearings have cooled down before fitting into the housing. To dismount angular contact ball bearings, first remove the lock nut. The most common method to remove the bearings from the shaft is to use a mechanical puller. This application has been designed with a backing ring, ensuring that the puller force is transferred through the ring with the interference fit. Cold mounting angular contact ball bearings always ensure the inner and outer rings are simultaneously driven onto the shaft. 
To put the force on the non-locating ring would result in the shock load being transmitted through the rolling elements potentially damaging to the bearing. SKF manufactures a complete range of pre-adjusted bearings, which when used as pairs will ensure the correct amount of clearance or preload is achieved. It is very important to check the application manual for the correct setup information, 